Uh, yeah, I, I thought they had a good first period. I thought we were kind of caught uh, deep in our own zone, and, and they had some good shots from the point or some cross ice passes for one timer. So, you now Howie did a great job for us tonight. Yeah, he, he stays. He stays right there too. The shots coming, he doesn't fade away. He stays right in there, and that's you know he got rewarded by scoring one of the goals by just standing there and staying in front of that too. Looked like Jason was happy to be back in too. I think he was. I think he was uh, happy to get a chance to play again, and uh, I thought he played a good game for us. You have uh, 18 points in your last 16 games. You're now 12th amongst uh, defensemen scoring. Just kind of talk about what's changed for you offensively. Uh, you know, when the puck wasn't going in for me, I. I you know, continue to shoot the puck, try to get shots through and get shots on net. And you know, you know, one go in for it, and all of a sudden, seems to be coming in in, in a bundle. So just have to continue to shoot that puck and uh, try to jump up at the right moments. Too. After the Phoenix game, you talked about blowing that two-game lead, and some of the players were saying, "Well, you maybe took the gas or the foot off the gas just a little bit." Kind of talk about the mindset in the third period here, where they find a way to you know get within one, and then you guys obviously score in the Zetterberg. Yeah, I thought uh, you know they got that second goal and. Uh, they had some pressure on it, but, but Hank scored sort of a lucky goal, but no, he, that's what he tried to do, try to back it off the goal or try to squeeze it through on the post and the goal. And, no, he scored a great goal. And then I thought we had that urgency too. We didn't really back off and gave them time in the neutral zone. I thought the forwards did a good job, but once we chipped the puck in, we stayed on top of them too. It's pretty exciting for you as the captain, as a player, to have all these guys now coming back to get Holmstrom hopefully on Sunday. You had Williams back today, and Franz is not that far away either. Yeah, I think it gives uh, the team a boost when you have guys coming back from long-term injuries, and you know they're excited. And I think they give the whole team uh, that energy too when they're coming back. Yeah, how often when a team's struggling, the goalkeeper has to kind of steal a couple of points for you to to get back going. A game like tonight is this just another sign? Of, you think for Howard come, coming of age as a National Hockey League goalkeeper? Yeah, I think he's he's growing as a goaltender in in every game he's playing. I think he's learning a lot too by. By you know, playing in games like this, where you have to bear down and play real well in the last minute or or in the whole third period, the way he did, so I think it's it's a learning curve for him. But I think he's been really taking huge steps forward the way he's been playing so far this year. I know every two points obviously very crucial right now, considering where you guys are in the race. But I got to believe maybe a little extra special going to Pittsburgh with the old you know rematch of the last two Stanley Cup Finals. Yeah, it'll be exciting to go uh, to go to Pittsburgh and play a, a team from the eastern side. But uh, you know, getting a chance to play the team we've, we've faced in the finals in the last couple of years, it's kind of exciting too. Do you have any uh, opinion, kind of as a defenseman, on the return of Lilia? You know? I, I think it's going to help our team when when he when he's coming back. I think you know he he's a great defensive defenseman. He's he's very solid on the penalty killing. He's a great shot blocker, and you know he, he gives us that extra body too with with the experience that he has. Is it surprising that the place is nearly full? You guys are struggling a little bit. The economy. I mean, what does yeah, that say to you? I, it's, I think it's great to see the fans come out and, and, and watch us play. You know, we we had uh, kind of a, a different season with you know the teams going through uh, you know some injuries and not playing as well as we have in the past. But it, it's great to see the fans really showing up and, and giving us support. They've been there for most of the season. Or was tonight, tonight was a little bit bigger than because of a Friday night, but yeah, unless they've been there for most. Of the yeah, season, right? most of the season, I think the, we've had a solid crowd, and uh, I think it, it shows that you know Detroit is a sports town, and they're they're still supporting their hockey team here. Uh, I, I feel the same every single game. I mean, uh, you know, just some nights you get the bounces and the, the puck goes your way, and uh, that was one of, one of those nights. You say every game feels the same way, but every game really does rely on the rest of the way. Yeah. Do you yeah. feel it as it goes along with every single game? Like. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, it's a playoff atmosphere already around here, and, uh, you know, it's probably, probably something that, you know, we haven't had to deal with around here for quite some time, but I think it's good, you know, uh, because, you know, we, it'll allow us to prepare, and, uh, and we never really get a night off against teams. Jim, were there any anxious moments in the third after they got that their second goal and then they rung one off the crossbar? Uh, just your thoughts on it as far as that went in the third? Uh, we got the bounces tonight. I mean, uh, that's basically how the game went. Uh, you know, it's how the game goes sometimes. Is uh, you know, some nights you get the breaks. 
how important was this game for you guys as far as your psyche goes, uh, not just the standings, but you know, getting a win and getting a winning feeling back? Yeah, it was uh, it was huge. Uh, the guys laid it out there on the line. There was a lot of you know a lot of desperation by our guys, and uh, uh, you know, the guys were throwing their bodies in front of shots, and uh, you know, and those D can definitely bring it from up top there. So um, you know, when the guys are doing that, it makes my life a lot easier out there, and you know, I really enjoy uh, battling back there for them. Life wasn't easy for you tonight, but 50 shots you face. Uh, just uh, how are you feeling right now? I feel fine. Hello, Mike. Obviously, the two points are important, but how important was it to win tonight just for the sake of the club, the way things have been going? Right well, huge for us, obviously. Howie was sensational, and it was very evident that once we got ahead that we haven't uh, or we weren't very comfortable just because we haven't won lately and we've blown some leads and I think you carry that around. You've seen the same thing when it happened in the past when we lost some games. Uh, you have to win a game like this to get yourself back on track so everyone can relax and start to play hockey at a high level. And You know, when you're pressured up, uh, you're not as quick and you don't execute as good. They got their second goal and then they um, missed basically what was an open net by hitting the crossbar. Were there anxious moments for you in the third? Well, I, I thought the, the, they hit the crossbar there on that break and um, but I thought our guys did a real good job, probably much better in the third than we did in the second. To tell you the truth, our penalty killing was huge tonight. I don't, I don't know how many shots Patrick E. Hawk, but I did a good job. And, and Weber, and uh, I didn't know Francis could shoot the puck that good, but obviously they got some bombs back there, so it's not a comfortable feeling standing in the lane. But I thought the guys did a good job. And, you know, it was a big goal by Zetterberg uh, from below the goal line, caught the goalie there, and uh, that was important, obviously, to give us a cushion. Was it important for this team to get kind of past that little span of, of blowing the two, the two goal leads in the third and then just to get one under their belt? Well, I think so. You know, it's it's amazing how it, it just snowballs on you. Is, uh, we lost a couple games that I didn't think we stopped playing at all in the th and then the other night against Phoenix, obviously, it was something you just never, ever want to see in our failure to execute. Uh, gives you a monkey you carry around on your back a little bit. And it was tough to get through, and now it was a big win for our team, and ideally we'll get better. Uh, we have better players than we had 10 days ago or two weeks ago, and yet we're not as good a team. And so we got to become a good team again. And, you know, early in the first period, we turned the puck over like, uh, beyond scary for whatever reason and we all understand that you can't win in basketball you can't win in football you can't win in, in hockey turning the ball over or the puck over and so uh, we have to get better in that area how have you felt watching nick lidstrom come alive offensively over the last little while mike well i like nick even when you're complaining about him so that hasn't been a big deal for me. <laughs> i've never complained about oh, him okay. well i mean i think i think when you're talking about nick uh, every year i've been here nick's been better in the second half of the year anyway when you're a D-man and you're used to scoring on the power play, that's a lot of your points come. And I don't have any players up front to play with in the first 30, 40 games. And people are asking you uh, why you're not scoring. He's probably thinking to himself, isn't it pretty obvious why I'm not scoring? So I think he's settled in and playing well. I think it was good for Jason to just get a goal right away. I thought really good. And, you know, I didn't play him very much in the third period, but I thought he, he did a real good job for us early uh, in the game, and you know, obviously Stewie playing. We didn't know if Stewie was going to play tonight. That was a big deal as well. Like you can go. Well, I think Miller's been excellent for us. It's uh, you know, to me, he just does everything right. He, he blocks shots, he skates, he goes like that, he competes. Now it's easy to say, oh, he's not big enough, or he's not this, or he's not that, but he's just a good hockey player, and, and we use him in all the crucial situations in the game. And uh, I thought he was excellent. If you're on the road for your next five, you're going to start in Pittsburgh. What do you want to see over this trip? Well, I want us to play. Uh, you know, there's a way the game's supposed to be played. We know the right way to play. Uh, I don't think there's a guy in the room that wouldn't tell you he doesn't know how to play. Now we got to play. Let's get playing. Let's do what we're capable of doing and play uh, with pace and energy and, and get ourselves feeling good about ourselves. That, that's the biggest thing. You want to play with confidence and execute.